Hi, my name is Dr. Brad Jacobs, and I'm here to speak to you today about the benefits of fiber. Uh, you may have heard lots of different articles in the news media talking about fiber. I want to spend just a couple of moments focused on the health benefits. Um, where do you find fiber? You find it predominantly in plants, vegetables. Um, you also find it in legumes. Great sources of fiber, for example, are legumes. Beans is a great example of that. Um, you can get in a half a cup serving of legumes, you can have over six to eight grams of fiber. Um, so what is the goal of fiber? How much you should, have, should you have per day? Your goal is really to achieve 20 to 25 grams of fiber in your diet per day, if you can. Now, what are the, some of the side effects that can occur when you're all of a sudden increasing the amount of fiber that you have in the day to that quantity? Um, some, of the, some people experience gas and bloating, so I recommend people slowly increase the quantity of, of fiber that you have per day so that your body gets used to it. In addition, if you don't have enough fluid in your body, it can actually cause constipation and slow things down. So you want to make sure you're drinking enough fluid, ideally 64 to 96 ounces of fluid a day, hopefully mostly water, and limiting the amount of juice content and, of course, su sweet sodas and others that you have in a day. That'll allow a bulking effect. So the, what are the advantages to fiber? Number one, it's a, it has a bulking uh, phenomena to it. It also in, increases the viscosity within, within the bowel as well. As a result of these uh, uh, two aspects, you have a deep a increase in transit time, meaning that the stool will go through the body much more quickly. So if you're prone to constipation, this will relieve constipation. If you're prone to irritable bowel syndrome, that actually improves people's irritable bowel, ir irritable bowel syn syndrome. And by, by having more rapid transit time, it actually decreases your risk of colon cancer as well. So that's just handling one aspect of it, the bulking aspect of it, which uh, allows things to move more quickly through the the bowels. The other piece is actually changes the composition of what's in the bowel. So as you know, our, our gut is lined with bacteria, hopefully mostly healthy bacteria. And if you either ingest that as probiotics, as in a pill form, or perhaps get it in your sauerkraut or, or live cultures in your yogurt, you're ingest, bringing in healthy bacteria into your body that allows you to actually digest foods better, regulate your sugar better, and do a myriad of other things much better. Better. Fiber actually has things in it called oligosaccharides, and fructo oligosaccharides as one example, or inulin as another example, are actually food for that healthy bacteria. We call them prebiotics that feeds the probiotic, the healthy bacteria. That probiotic then actually helps the lining along the border of your gut so that that actually becomes stronger and is much better at discerning things that are healthy for it and less healthy so that you ingest the foods you want to ingest and they, they actually get absorbed into the bloodstream appropriately and the foods that in sort of contents that you don't want into the bloodstream are actually not being absorbed. Another important piece is reduction of cholesterol. So fiber can do multiple different things. Number one, it reduces cholesterol reabsorption from the gut into the bloodstream, thereby lowering your cholesterol. Number two, regulates sugar so that if you're prone to diabetes or at risk for diabetes, or if you want to make sure that you keep the sugar at a low steady state rather than having these peaks, which can cause problems for our health. If you eat more fiber, it'll slow down the actual absorption of sugar. And thirdly, increases transit time, as we talked about in the beginning, improving bowel movements, improving constipation, and decreasing your risk of colon cancer. Where can you get your fiber? Again, plants, vegetables, and legumes are great sources. Primarily deeply pigmented greens and legumes are great sources for you to think about.